my lovely wishes. It's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. How are you? Are we good? I think of you often. I hope that you are. You are well. And all of your people are well. And things are good. So today we are going to do uh, what I like to call fly by the seat of your pants sewing. And we're going to make a pillow. I and for some reason, just got it in my head a uh, day before yesterday that I needed a pillow. Don't know why. Just, oh, let's just stop working on whatever else we're working on and make a pillow. So since that is the case, the instructions are by the flying by the seat of your pants. Uh, if you want to make this pillow and my instructions leave you somewhat uh, mystified, Please feel free to send me an email or and I will try to clear that up but um for the most part I think that the that the majority of the important information is in this tutorial so um it's gonna hop around a little bit because yeah flying seated pants so uh let's go on and uh make a pillow okay this is what we're making today oh it's gonna be a pillow um, this was one of those, I think I have an idea, let's do it. <laughs> and in the end, it, it's, it came out pretty much like my brain, my brain made it out to be. So, um, <clears throat> my, my pillow, it is a pillow. Okay, so the way you make your, your, um, dimensions for cutting things out is my pillow is 16 by 16. I cut my uh, base fabric and everything probably closer to 20 by 20 uh, just until I finished everything and I was sure I had enough room and you know um, but so um, we've got I chose to put it on muslin because I like muslin you could you know your choice I wanted it to be a sunflower because I thought it could go through summer and fall so um, I cut a, a backing piece, a piece of mus or of batting, and then what will be the top of your pillow. And then I just, I just hand drew a petal. I just, okay, that looks like a petal. And then just using my rotary cutter, I just cut out so many petals, it's too many, way too many petals. But I didn't really know for sure how big I wanted it, and um, you know. I'm kind of a more is better than less person. So uh, I cut them all out and, and I cut out the center. The center I just used, I just found a piece of around something. I think it, I just used this mug upside down and drew around it for the center piece. And then I took um, sew line glue and I started with the center, well, I laid it all out, and then I started with the center and just started to glue petals down, just so they'd stay put while I sewed them. Um, I think that maybe there's a few too many on this side, or I don't know, I, I feel like it's not quite symmetrical, maybe, but, um, and then I went to the machine and I just stitched around Every petal, I went a little crazy in the middle because cause I could. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut it to size and put the backing on it. And I'm going to create an envelope back so you don't have to use a zipper. Makes things really easy. So um, I think I'm going to cut this down. I think right now it's 17 by 17. My pillow is 16 by 16. I'm going to just take a half an inch off of it all the way around. All right, so our our finished size is 16 and a half by 16 and a half. And let's just, yep, looks good. So we're going to take some more muslin. And we're going to need uh, let's see. I 
think this piece is probably exactly right lengthwise, but it, we need it to be 16 and a half wide. So let's cut that up. This is called on a wing and a prayer sewing, where you just go for it. And then I'm going to cut it in half. So about 13. I'm going to go to my ironing place and I'm going to just create, uh, press down just a little hem on, on both of these. It will only take a second. Okay, so we've got the outside with the, it's facing up. So now we're going to put the back on with the right side facing down. Just means uh, the, um, the hem will be looking at you. I'm just gonna go ahead and take some clips and just kind of get this one started. Go in okay and then take your other one and go to the top oh that's gonna be pretty big huh. that's probably big enough usually they say five six five to six inches of overlap so I'm I'm gonna go with I'm, I'm eyeballing again. I'm going to trim it. Come on, come on, whatever you are. Okay, so that's, I think, better. Go ahead, get more clips. Clip it up away. And then I'm gonna take it to the machine and I'm going to stitch all the way around. Bloop, bloop, bloop. But when you get to the places where there's overlap here, go back and forth a couple times to just reinforce those places so that um, when you are putting them on and off your pillow, they don't come out. All right, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now we're gonna just trim those corners to make them easier to turn. And then we're going to turn it right side out. your favorite pokey tool and poke out those corners
It's a pillow, but no, not yet. It needs a pillow inside. So, Out to the corners. I just got to bang it around a little bit and work some of that stuffing out to the corners. But otherwise, I think she's good. And that's the back envelope, and you don't need to mess with the zipper. And that's it. Is a pillow. Okay, so you can see she's, I've gotten the fluffing up into the corners. You just got to get your hands in there and just, just rustle the daylights out of it and, and get it going. But, you know, this would be um, really pretty in like reds for Christmas, like as a poinsettia. It really looks more like a poinsettia than a sunflower. Um, or a dahlia, like purples and pinks and so just get your creative juices flowing and pick a color and have some fun because <laughs> I was it was fun but uh yeah I did have to adapt as I went so be well be safe and I'll see you soon bye